I think partly I was inspired to become an engineer because of the people around me. So neither of my parents have had anything to do with engineering, but I've had uncle and aunts that do engineering. I have all sorts of people around me that have always been kind of in the world of engineering. It's not like I had like a light bulb moment where I discovered engineering was a thing. But I think also partly because I'm, I've, I've always been academic. I've always loved doing science and math and all of that kind of thing. But I also really liked art. And like, again, I'm a dancer. I, I want to do creative things. And I found that if I was doing something like physics, I couldn't be creative. So I originally considered architecture, but it's specifically in this country, there's a lot of focus on the art side. And I once went to an open day where they flat out said to me, yeah, we just make the building look good and then an engineer can make it stand up. And that's when I was like, well, that's not what I want to do. Like, I want to do both. And I think civil engineering gave me a chance to use the creative side whilst also using the mathematical side. And it's all well and good having the ability to make something work. But if you don't have the creative mind to come up with the better idea in the first place, there's no use being able to engineer it.